So I started writing this rom-com, Twin Furs. Uh, it's been 10, 11, 12 weeks ago that I started this. So yeah, I guess so, three months ago. Um, the original plan was that I would put out a chapter every week. And uh, maybe the plan was to make me be responsible for doing the writing. Or um, maybe it was just because I wanted the instant gratification of hearing back from people about uh, if they were enjoying the story. But what I found now that I'm here in the middle of chapter 11, which is about probably a third of the way through the novel, um, that if I continue to put it out there in the world every week with a new chapter that I can't, I can't make any corrections. I can't go back and adjust anything that's happened in the past because I've already published that and put it out into the world. Uh, so that the story that I'm writing going forward becomes locked in and trapped by whatever passing comment I might have made about a character or a character's feelings or thoughts or something about their history. And, and I saw that there was a danger to that. It's not that I'm concerned about needing to rewrite um, because I'm embarrassed by the writing or it, it's, not a, it's not a copywriting concern. It's, it's a concern that if I continue to publish this story and put it out there incrementally, that I, I don't have room, I don't have libre room to adjust and to really, really tell the story that I actually want to tell um, later on. So painfully, uh, this week, I'm letting my subscribers know to both the podcast and to the written text that they're going to have to wait until the book is finished. Um, yeah, that's it's kind of sad. I'm a little sad. So uh, I really, really have very much appreciated all of you who've been reading to this point. Um, it's been a joy to get feedback from you and to hear how much you're enjoying the story. I, I, I've been really really surprised at how great the response has been. Um, so thank you for that very much. And I look forward to telling you the rest of the story when it's, uh, when it's ready.